with a few farmers filled and there was um some crop circles appeared there i think it was sort of over two fields this crop so we've only had well yeah we've only had one ever crop circle appear on the isle of Wight. but i mean that's amazing in itself you know on a little island and uh you know a crop circle appears Unless it means something, you know, the uh, locals have have done that. That's really strange. I'm taking some more pictures, by the way. This will be in the county press tomorrow. And of course, the Isle of Wight, um, ride school boy, saw a UFO. And it's quite rare, I mean, it's rare for an actual paper to show the photographs. And, um, and also the, uh, um, you know, actually put it online, actually put it online. And, um, yeah, he saw these, um, this object fly over his house at Wootton. Oh, look at these little butterflies. Get in nature, guys. This is the real world out here. So the real world is out here, guys. The whole universe is out there. Um, I won't do a flat. I won't do a flat Earth experience today. But I'm still trying to work out. I saw. The sun, the sun set in the west yesterday. If you look on one of my TikToks, the sun set in the west, and uh, literally I got the moon in the east and the sun setting in the west, and you can see both of them on me. I was sort of, sort of trying to go over my head. You know, the Earth is supposedly round. How can I see? I see the moon in the east and the um, sun setting in the west. So. Oh, that's quite cool. I think they're pansies. When I drove by, I thought, well, they look like pansies. How could they form in such a straight line like that? It looks like wild grass, and they're just sort of, uh, I don't know if that's a binary code or something like that. A message from Mother Earth probably means it probably means no war in Ukraine, I expect, in binary code. Perhaps it means no war. Mother Earth had enough of humans destroying the world. Yeah, it looks like pansies. Let's take get another picture. And look at it, it's straight lines. A recording file, let's try to keep. I'm going to have to change my. Uh, That's better. I'm taking some more pictures. They say you got to look for the signs, guys. I don't think anything happens by accident. Certainly nothing happened by accident. That's a nice little plant.
Oh, we've got 500 viewers uh, already. You're obviously interested in what I've just discovered there. How the hell are they, so I shouldn't say that word hell, how are they grown in such a straight lines? I'm probably, I'm going to try and get across the road there. It's got to be careful though. It certainly looks like pansies, but I say, I think it's amazing. It looks like a binary code. Unless it's something to do with uh, D-Day, you know D-Day's just gone and they've um, deliberately planted some pansies there, I think. Assuming they're, I'm pretty sure they're pansies, obviously I'm not close, so I don't know. Well, see if I find somewhere I can cross the road. Looks like people's walked up there. I wouldn't get a close look. Obviously, when we get back up the hill, then we can see um, at distance. They're in straight lines, absolute straight lines. Yeah, so obviously you get crop circles. I've only seen one crop circle. I think it was like Hollenberry or... No, it was the... Oh, what's it? They call it the... Oh, it's, I think there's... um. Uh, Asda, that's it. There's an Asda in Hollandbury or something in Brighton when I used to live there. So if you're heading for, as a particular park, Preston Park, was it Preston Park? Uh, no, Stammer Park, that's it. So anyone from Brighton, you'll know what I'm talking about. Stammer Park. And there was off the, the Dyke Road or something, they call it Dyke Road, I think, over the South Downs. Got to be careful now. There was um, a crop circle there. It looks like pansies, definitely, guys. I'll see if I can walk that way somehow. Let's go and investigate. Obviously, I'll get pictures of UFOs. I saw something the other night, some moving object on my live. So can I get across there? That's the main thing. So I don't want to get run over. I might be able to get in there. bit silly here I've done this before here we go look that's lucky look guys we've had a crop circles so now we're gonna see something really strange We've had a crop circle, so now we're going to see something really strange. I've never walked here down there before. So this is... Saying to her mum, she goes, it's Dave, it's Dave, it's Dave. I mean, I do a lot of my live streams late at night, so... I did not recognise the mother. Formation. Up here. It's near Braden, so you've got Braden one side. And you've got Culver, the hill up there, the other. Also, I see quite a lot of strange things around the islands. Um, I'll probably see more orbs. I'll call them spiritual orbs. Yeah, spiritual orbs. The old big boss up there sends them for people to take people to heaven. So I saw loads of them back in the... I had my brother with me and we took loads of pictures. I post them again on TikTok. I mean, there was like over 20 orbs moving across. So I'm getting out of breath. Tottenham Bay. Yeah, as I say, there's a whole universe out, out here. It's the real world. Don't sit behind watching that depressing news from the BBC and Sky and Channel 4. 
get out in the real world. This is the real world. I don't think I, I don't think they're telling the truth half the time anyway. These uh, these news channels. I don't think I, I don't think they're telling the truth half the time anyway. These uh, these news channels. Well, they exaggerate, you know. They really. I don't think I, I don't think they're telling the truth half the time anyway. These uh, these news channels. Well, they exaggerate, you know. They really exaggerate. I should be a news reporter because I'm I do it live, so. If I see a UFO, I'm usually doing it live. And if I see, here we go, these pansies. So how are they formed in such a straight line? Well, no, there's some flowers, I'm not sure. You're going to have to tell me, guys. I don't think there's some flowers. I'm not a plant person. So they've all grown in such a straight line. Oh, look at this. Mother Nature at her best. And they're in straight lines. Yeah, so if you're on the hill up top here, I'll take loads of pictures. They're, you know, I'm right, I'm part right up top there. These are in perfect straight lines. On the hill up there, Culver, this is Culver. So any islanders watching, you've got to come and see this. This is amazing. So you just park up there by uh, Forts. Uh, isn't that beautiful? And there's straight line. Look, straight line, guys. Yeah, and I'd, I say see it from up the top of the hill. Oh, it's, oh, it's so beautiful, guys. I shall go to the top and I might be able to look down. It's in, uh, per I mean, if you're on that hill, it's in perfect lines. So, it's a message. It's, I say you got to look for signs, guys. you got to look for signs. Oh, look at this. you got to look, look for signs, guys. I've seen, honestly, over the years, I've seen amazing things. My first sighting of the most strange thing... Um, was a, a, a big energy ball above the Cofford Circle, an ancient circle near Stonehenge. It's about seven miles. It's seven miles from Stonehenge. It's called the Codford Circle. It's in Wiltshire. And uh, I was on a train with a load of football fans. We saw this, the strangest thing above the hill there. And uh, this energy ball... I mean, this is natural, this is natural phenomena here. They're just grown in, I mean, I'm on that hill up there and it's just perfect straight lines. There's some more saying that, it's some more, let's say naturally, look, it's, oh look, it's some more over there. <laughs> That's, look, I just, there's another one on the other side, oh, you can't make it up. I mean, obviously, the sad thing, this is Culver. Sadly, a lot of people, uh, you know, I'm going to get a bit depressing here. Sadly, you know, a lot of people's uh, jump from up there to go rest their souls. Um, so, I, I assume they're all, I, I assume they're all in heaven anyway. So, life's treated them that bad. Oh, look at this.
to apologise bringing that up if uh, if any of you've uh, experienced it with a relative or something. But I'm positive they're in a better place. There's some over there as well. That's, I mean, what a coincidence. Look, you've got... You, this is exactly the same you've got over there. Unless it's something to do with D-Day or something, but what's, who's going to see it? Who's going to see it? And only aircraft, perhaps. There's some poppies here. Pay me respects to the, our military. There's some more that I'm going to be taking pictures of going over here. You just can't get enough. Take some pictures of that. Yet again, in straight lines. Yet again, straight lines. Unless it's something to do with D-Day or it might be a memorial sort of thing but I don't know there's a load of poppies there amongst all there it's sort of early in the year the um, locals that I don't know it's <laughs> I'm probably the last one to know but I say on the hill there that I'm gonna I can now look at this so they've got exactly the same over here but they surely don't grow in straight lines like that so we've got the one over there we've got over there as well I'm dedicating this to uh, Kerry, I say her name, Kerry Lee, she's in our uh, UFO group on the Isle of Wight, she's sadly in hospital and uh, luckily she's recovering hopefully quite well and um, yeah my best wishes to her and she's one of, uh, one of the best lady ufologists in the UK. Oh look at that. So that's what we've seen over there is over there as well. Obviously, I, I've seen a crop circle in the past. I've taken pictures. I'll, I'll dig the pictures out and I'll show you. It's back, back when I lived in Brighton. Yeah, I mean, I am interested in... Uh, I am interested in crop circles. We could actually go up there and have a look as well. Look, you can, it's like a, a footpath out there. That's a bit of coincidence, they're exactly growing the same in over here and over there, it's a bit of a mystery. Mother Nature.